Welcome to HBCU Kingdom. I am no end situation. Now today we're talking about Shador Sanders. Now everybody got this JSU fever, man. They on the train. But like I said, I'm from Jackson, Mississippi, man. So we used to go to the games all the time. My father played and everything. But we gonna talk about Shador Sanders a little bit. Do you guys think he could be in the Heisman race? But first, run that intro. Those pom poms in the air as the best band in the land enters the field on our signature song, Get Ready. So look, man, that intro I read, man, a little Jackson State, son of boom of the South, world renowned, you know what I'm saying, marching out to that get ready, halftime show, you know what I'm saying, I could have played the whole thing, you know, but I didn't want to do that. So like I said, man, I just want to talk about Shador Sanders a little bit, man. He's a great quarterback, he's a great kid. He had a great year last year um, with Jackson State. They had their one loss. In the championship game, man, you know, and he, they, they, they had a great team last year, you know, and Coach Prime said those wasn't even his dogs, like, because they was already there when he got there, so the team that they're playing with this year, you know what I'm saying, is, like, even better. These guys are 8-0, they're undefeated. Uh, last year, Shador Sanders, man, won the Jerry Rice Award. He's also was the SWAG Freshman of the Year, and he was second team all SWAG. So with the numbers he putting up this year, man, we got people talking, you know, can he be in the Heisman race? I, I think he had the numbers to be in it, and it just, you know, it just depends on the voters. You know, do the voters think he's good enough to even be in the race? for the Heisman. I think the last player we had from the SWAC that was in the Heisman race was Steve Magnair. You know, he was the last one, which I think he should have won. The man had like 5,000 passing yards that year. You know, he should have won. But because, you know, he went to the HBCU, you know, Walter Payton, he, he didn't even get it. So we talking about some phenomenal players, some great players that didn't get it. <clears throat> but I hope, you know, the voters get it right. I hope they put him in there. And I hope they take a real consideration of the numbers this guy been putting up, man. So this was this video was basically about, man. You know, I got highlights from the fan U game they played in Miami, you know. One of the classes this year. So, you know what I'm saying? I have a lot of people that watch the videos, you know, like I say, man, like the video, share, subscribe, leave a comment, man, all that is free, it really is, you know, and I appreciate the love, I got a few more minutes of highlights, you guys can check them out, until next time.